comfy, grab a brew, light your candle. Hope you don't burn down the house. Hello guys, welcome back to Lush Velvet Coasters. This is going to be our year in review and also what to expect next year. This year has been a very good year for theme parks. We've obviously had the grand opening for Wicker Man and ICOM, um, which have both turned out to be roaring successes. Um, so we're going to sort of go month by month as to things that have happened this year, sort of what things have been accomplished, milestones to the channel, that kind of thing. So the year for this video technically starts in March, which is when we had the grand opening of Wicker Man. Didn't quite go to plan. Um, everything was closed except from like four kids rides, but um, getting to look at the Wicker Man for the first time was incredible. I think just having that moment of turning around the corner in Katanga Canyon and just having this giant creature that was once just tarp, just standing there, that blew my mind more than the coaster. Um, obviously it was closed, but we did just enjoy seeing it for the, for the first time. The music, the performers and actors and things that were around were really cool. So we got our season pass and headed off to the Alton Towers Water Park, which, if you don't know, I am not only an enthusiast of the theme parks, I do love a good water park. They are like the one thing that doesn't terrify me. Um, so that was really cool. We went to the outdoor pools and it was snowing, it was gorgeous and very cold and I got very sick but it was so worth it. So the following weekend on the Sunday we ended up heading back to Alton Towers, the very long drive again, um, to see Wicker Man in operation for the first time which was really nice. Obviously it was the second or third day that it had actually been running, as far as I know. But it was just one of those things where people were speculating if it would open, obviously with teething issues. Um, so seeing like they start to test and the music start to come on and all that speculation was really nice. Um, did queue for four hours, did personally unfortunately not go on it as I backed out after everyone got kicked out of the queue after four hours. Um, but my friends rolled it, they all really enjoyed it. Got to sort of dip my toe in going on credits on my own which was kind of nice. Um, but no, just seeing it running and the hype around it come in was really nice. And we also ended up meeting a couple of the guys from the community. So we met Chris Franklin and we also met a couple of the guys from Backseat Blackout, which was really cool. I'd wanted to meet like a lot of the British community for a while. So that was a really good day. And it was just one of those that kind of made me want to start vlogging it myself. So skip forward to May, I turned 22. Um, and on the day we headed off to Alton Towers. Um, I did kind of want to take it easy on myself just because I get a bit overfaced. so we did just have a day of like kids rides and things like that but then by the end I decided to join my friends in the queue for Rita not really thinking much of it to be honest just think I'll just queue have a look ended up getting on it new credit done it was kind of amazing um, I think it was one of those that really started uh, getting the ball rolling for like confidence and actually being willing to try new things because I hadn't tried new things for quite a while before that. So I ended up loving Rita, so that was a really good unexpected credit. Then a few weeks later I headed off to Blackpool Pleasure Beach with the family, it's a bit of like a joint birthday thing for me and my younger sister. Ended up having a really nice time, did like some of the flat rides and the smaller rides for the first time which was quite nice. Um, also got on Steeplechase for the first time which was Satan. Um, yes, anyway. <laughs> and then later in the month I actually flew out to Grand Canary. It wasn't a theme park related trip, it was just a family holiday, but I said I love water parks. I ended up going back to Aqualand, which is a really amazing water park back in Grand Canaria for the first time in about 10 years. That was, that was a really nice thing. Obviously I don't really count water slide credits, but I did get to try a few new things and that does that was like a really nice way to sort of end the trip. Now going on to June, finally a time where you can actually see, um, I started vlogging. So me and Hannah headed out to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I got the train up there and we ended up going to do it like a few credits. Um, I ended up kind of with the intention of going on Icon but knowing deep down that I, I wouldn't really do it, I wasn't expecting to. Um, 
but then Hannah got me onto um, Nickelodeon Streak, which was something that I didn't expect I'd ever want to go on, to be honest. It was just, it wasn't, it didn't have any like particularly massive drops or anything thrilling. It was just the size of it that scared me. But after a couple goals on the Blue Flyer, I know I'm five, I did end up actually having the guts to go on the Nick Streak and that kind of kicked off this confidence. And I did actually end up getting on Icon, which I still can't quite believe I've been on. It has, like, i say one proper inversion. Um, I wouldn't really class the incline loop as one. It didn't feel like one. Um, and obviously the Immelman, which was something that terrified me because obviously it's going up steep and coming down steep, but it, I ended up absolutely loving that part of the ride. Hate the rest of it, cried all the way, but that was a new credit. <laughs> then later in the month, I headed back to Blackpool by train again. <laughs> Um, and ended up going to the Coaster Studios, Coaster Bot and Coaster Kids meet up. That ended up being amazing. Um, I did get a couple new credits in, but the main part of it was just getting back involved with the community after a few months. So I did end up meeting the guys. Um, there was quite a group of <laughs> other people as well who had travelled out, so I got to talk to a, you know, a few other enthusiasts, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, I managed to go back on Steeple Chase for some sick reason. Um, got to go on the Grand National for the first time, which was something else. Um, but the Big Dipper was actually quite enjoyable. Um, and the main one that I really liked of that day was Avalanche, actually. It was something I wasn't particularly expecting to go on, but it ended up being so good. I ended up really enjoying it, went on it a few times. Um, that was just like another really nice credit to come away with. Um, it's one of those, it's obviously if you're local to like Blackpool or Northern England, it's quite like a local thing, but if you, if you think about how few there are, it definitely is one of those, you just gotta try it if you, if you can, it's a rare credit. That was probably my favorite of the trip. Now for July, we didn't actually have any theme park trips. However, I did get to speak to the man himself, John Wardley. That was kind of amazing. Um, did a little video on that. It was, I think it was the second upload, if I remember correctly, but yeah, it was really good. Um, Ended up being one of those where, I don't know, this sort of a last minute plan that was very nerve wracking. I hated how the video came out, but hey, I got to speak to John Wildley. I got some really good advice. And even though I've not been on Nemesis yet, I do apply the advice to every new credit I try, which is a really good takeaway from it, I think. August, we had the visit to Alton Towers again. Um, it, Camilla just got his car, so we now have a car. We can go to theme parks more often, amazing. So that was when we filmed the Wicker Man episode. Obviously, I didn't get to try any new credits. However, I went on Galactica for the first time in two years because I was so scared to go back on it after the first time. Not a new credit, but it, it, so it was a really nice thing to get back on, get brave with, so that was really good. Um, also, just spammed Rita like several times. It was amazing. September, nothing really happened, so skipping on to October was obviously the biggest month of the channel, biggest month of the year really. It was just something that we'd been counting down to from day one. So we went off to Orlando, Florida. We did the whole Disney Universal, we did all the parks. I think the only thing we didn't do was the Disney water parks just because of time. But um, I, I started off before the holiday with about 14 credits left with 23 so i managed to do nine different coasters which for someone who's very afraid of coasters is such a big deal so i ended up just falling in love with like the disney roller coasters in terms of like the theming and you know the excitement and it's it's more of an experience over there definitely I ended up loving slinky dog and everest and rock and roller coaster they were probably like the top ones of the trip also really loved the mummy from universal that was one of those that we had no idea we bought. We just thought it was maybe like a simulator or... And then we got in the queue and saw, this is a thrill ride. So um, that was a nice one from the trip. But here's the list of the things we did in Orlando. Obviously you have seen many vlogs from it. So I mean, I'm not gonna go into that too much. And that was kind of it for the theme park year. All the videos since have been, you know, more Florida things. Obviously there was a lot of footage to go through. Um, so now let's look on to 2019. So the first thing, it's not really the biggest deal, but to me it is, I've worked very hard on it. Um, I decided to revamp the logo again. 
obviously the one that I did last time was like for summer. So it, like there's barely any change, but for me it's a big change. I'm finally getting to make it look how I pictured it in the first place because I couldn't, I didn't have the skills to do that straight away. So yeah, the logo's looking a little better, a little more pimped up. So I'll pop that here for you. It's also sneaking behind me. I've also, it's a very slim chance, I shouldn't really say it, but I did email Alton Towers to ask if I would have permission or some sort of help to film the first time on Nemesis. It's a very unlikely thing with the size of the channel and you know, most vloggers would kind of make those kinds of videos because they have a lot of followers and they, you know, they can offer the part promotion and that kind of thing. But I still wanted to just sort of test the waters and ask. There's no harm in asking. Um, so they have put me in touch with the PR team, so fingers crossed and toes crossed and everything crossed that somehow they will let me film on Nemesis. Like I said, slim chance, but it is something, I think, the only way to make a channel really thrive and to bring content that, you know, not everyone can, is to just kind of ask and push and try and so hopefully we will get a nice POV. If not, I will do my best to capture the experience in a way that's like a before and after the ride kind of thing and you know try to give you a taste of how it is when I do it because I will I swear to god. With the Nemesis subject I am actually planning on going to Alton Towers for the opening weekend fingers crossed. Um, obviously last year it was a really good opportunity to meet more of the community I would like to do that again I'd like to meet some of the guys who I've met like again talk to them ask questions meet new people hopefully just like you know get on like a lot of things and just have like a day of it obviously opening weekend is going to be rammed I know and it's going to be cold but it's just going to be one of those where I know people will be there I think it'll be a lot of fun I'm also hoping that we could expand out to other parks obviously I don't know if we can afford to go away again but if we do an idea for a small trip well we save to go back to you know bigger holidays in a few years um Port Ventura would be nice in Spain maybe a week there try out some different rides there um but in terms of in this country i'd quite like to get out to thought park and drayton manor i've been talking to my cousin a little bit about maybe planning a thought park trip it all kind of depends on how the opening weekend at Alton towers goes in terms of bravery i know thought parks rides are a lot bigger and a lot scarier and there's a lot more to kind of prepare myself for so that that is a goal as much as it is like something i've just I'm gonna be doing it's like an actual thing I've got to work up to. So not an awful lot is happening in the UK industry this year and there's been a few rumours surrounding things like Thought Park whether they're getting rid of things adding things I think everyone is kind of hoping that Alton Towers will be putting more funding in this year for running you know things like the shops and the ride maintenance and kind of upkeep in it and obviously I feel like this year was kind of the year of the cutbacks unfortunately so hopefully next year We'll see some more investment in Alton Towers and the whole theme park industry as a whole. Also, me, I'm kind of hoping that this year will be the year of the waterfalls coming back. I know it's such a tiny thing with Alton Towers, but I do miss it. The ride isn't the same. I feel like the rapids really need some work. So hopefully over the winter season, they may be doing something to it. We at very least know that they may be adding the new boats in that they've been testing. Fingers crossed we can, you know, get the rapids back save the one water ride that we have and hopefully it'll open back next year with some new things, who knows? So we started off the year with six coaster credits, ones from like my childhood and then a couple of extra ones from a couple of years ago. So that is Whirlwind, Mine Train, Galactica, Spinball Wizard, 13 and the Blue Flyer Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We are going to be leaving 2018 with 23 which can I just stress as someone who's been scared of rides my whole life that is such a small number they were indeed yes with like a thousand credits and things like that but I'm very proud of that number and it makes me very excited to see what the number count will be at the end of 2019 so to everyone who has subscribed liked anything viewed my videos or liked you know followed my Instagram liked anything taken part in polls on there anything at all everything does mean a lot so thank you to you guys um, obviously I didn't start the channel as something for, I didn't plan to get like loads of subscribers and all this big thing, for me it was just documenting this journey and it ended up becoming something that I now 
really enjoy doing and I really want to put more time into in the next year. I'm starting a new job, so hopefully I will have like more time and more funding and things, you know, more, I do have more freedom with my time now, so hopefully I can put much more into the channel and looking forward to where 2019 takes us. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I hope you all have a lovely new year and I will see you in a few weeks. Bye now. Taking every bit of strength for me to not just go year review. No.